Hey everybody, uh, Rontro here, and it's time for Summer of Retro, um, first ever episode. And, uh, you know, summer doesn't officially start until the 20th of um, June, which is also known as the summer, of, uh, yeah, the summer solstice. And, you know, it's the longest day of the year. Um, but, I mean, summer's kind of marked by most people on Memorial Day, it's when people start doing their, you know, first camping and their uh, first cookouts. Um, I mean, it's also a day about remembering our fallen soldiers, but, um, you know, every, that's, that kind of does mark the beginning of summer. Most kids are out of school by that point, and, you know, at least around here. So, um, we're going to start with Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, our first inductee into the summer of retro. Um, now, m many regard this as the best Mario game. Um, I do tend to agree with that, but my personal favorite is um, Super Mario Brothers 2, which was just a um, Re, uh, remake, not remake, but, um, kind of a reskinned, um, reskin of another game known as Doki Doki Panic. Um, the real Super Mario Bros. 2 was actually the Lost Levels. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever played the Super Mario All Stars collection on the Super Nintendo, but I'm sure most have. Um, that was the first taste of it that um, America got, uh, and and the reason we got Doki Doki Panic instead of Super Mario Brothers 2, you know, the Lost Levels, was because they didn't feel the, the Japanese didn't feel that the that Americans were skilled enough for that game. They felt that it would be too difficult for us, so we got. Um, Doki Doki Panic instead. And it's funny because this isn't the only time that has happened. Um, this has nothing to do with Mario, but um, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest for the Super Nintendo. Um, you know, they gave us that RPG, the Japanese Squaresoft, at the time. Um, they didn't feel that we could understand a complex RPG. So, they gave us this, you know, that was stupid, I just missed out on going down that pipe, that's fine, I don't really need to. But, um, that's, that's why we got Mystic Quest. But, um, yeah, I, you know, I really enjoy this game. Um, always have Um, two stars, it's awesome. You know, I remember being over at my one cousin's house, and we were trying to, um, play Mario 3. Oh, Sabretooth Mushroom. <laughs> at least that's how I always looked at it. And every single time I would try to start a stage, because of course I was Luigi, um, second player. Every time I would try to... Oh, crap, I forgot about that. <laughs> it has been a little while since I've played Mario 3, so... But every time I try to start a stage, they, uh, they would end up starting up the battle stage. So, they would whoop my butt at it, you know, because they were older than me and knew how to play it and stuff, and I had no clue. You know, um... I, I, I really hated this game for a long time because of that. Um, but, you know, I do appreciate the game for what it did for, you know, the platforming genre. And, you know, it brought Mario to a, a whole new level, you know, so to speak. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. 
I feel so gypped right now. Ah. Oh. Now I could have went and gone behind the one white thing. If you hold down on those white platform things, you'll fall through. And he could have went behind there and got the whistle. But I'm going to try to do a complete playthrough. But I did get five one-ups. But man, I could have had 13 lives. I missed that. Oh. So demoralizing. Um. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. Um. You know, I'm actually going to pull off four. A lot of people hate this stage. It's an auto-scroller. Um. My son's mother refuses to play this stage. Um, when we do occasionally play it uh, in a two-player, I'll do this stage because it angers her that you know I do it so well. Hopefully, you know I do this time as well. But there's always chance for mess ups I am recording and sometimes nerves get the best of me. But we're going to try and do it. And be quiet for the rest of it. With ease, my friends. Ah! Oh, I should have came down off the pipe and then ran for it. But that's okay. It's fine. Um. Okay. There's also a whistle in here. <clears throat> and it's a warp whistle. Um, for those of you that may not have played Mario 3, but you know, if you've played video games, you know, if you haven't played Mario 3, then what business do you have playing frickin' video games. Um, you know, there's, you know, it's not like it's impossible to get a hold of and play. Um, you know, you can get it on the, the NES, and I'm sure it's fair, you know, I'm not gonna get that. But if I would take that and fly up, fly up to the top of the stage, yeah, I'm pointing at the screen, just so you know, you know, trying to show you, even though you're not here. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. Um, but, you know, you can get the warp whistle and you can warp again. If you get both warp whistles, you know, you can go to the last world. But, um, like I said, I'm going to try and do a complete playthrough. Yeah. I wouldn't mind getting a world done an episode. Um, that would leave it at eight episodes. But, you know, I will go for the whole 15 minutes. And I'm going to try and limit these to 15 minutes. They may be a little more, they may be a little less, depending, you know. Oh, crap, and I don't have the feather. That was dumb. Boy, I'm making all sorts of dumb mistakes and missing out on one-ups. Yeah, I'm going to give this an honest-to-goodness try. I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to complete Mario 3. I mean, I could go the route of using the game Genie, but I don't know if I feel comfortable with it. I can't remember if there's ever a secret block on that side of the pipe. I know there is on, um, like the ships. The, um, battle ships or whatever you want to call them. Um, once in a while there'll be a power up on the other side of the boss pipe. Wow, I didn't even get a star that time. Not that it really matters, but I am terrible at this. All right, um, Okay, that's not what I wanted, but I oh well. wanted the top right one. I can't remember how that goes, but 
my dad had that mastered. He knew where every single one was. Man. He was incredible when it came to video games. He would go through this like it was a cakewalk. I mean, granted, it was for many times playing it, but... Wow. Oh. Okay, well then... I'm missing lots of one-ups today. That's okay. Oh. That turtle tried to bite me. All right. So, this is going pretty smooth up to this point, so I'm happy. Sure, I'll take that. Yay! Alright, we're gonna try C this time. Ah, uh, oh well. Let's power up if we need it. We just may need them. I'm going to say my most trouble is going to start in probably World 3. That's where it's going to start. Hopefully not. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't skip this. Whatever. Um, so the kings of the different lands, worlds, whatever you want to call them, have been transformed into animals by these s staves that, or rods or whatever that the Koopalings have stolen. So... Oh, wow. I'm doing great. That's why I get for goofing around. So yeah, I'd really like to ca get a capture card and, uh, you know, do some Mario Maker. I, I love I playing Mario Maker. I've made a few stages. I haven't made a stage in a while. But, um, I do really enjoy that game. Okay, there's not one here. It might be the next ship. Oh, wow. And I don't understand why my fireballs were blue. And I thought those were orange. Oh, well. Okay, I missed the rod. I always try to jump up and grab it. See, I was going to point at the screen again. Oops, sorry. I got an itch. <clears throat> so that's World 1 down. Um, just shy of 15 minutes. Um, actually, a couple minutes short of it because, you know, I talked for about a minute before we got started. But yeah, man, awesome. Um, no deaths. Some missed one ups. I, I could probably have about 18 lives right now. Um, that P Wing will come in handy later for a few stages. But starting on the next episode, we will start with World 2 and hopefully we will demolish it in one go. Um, so I'm really excited about this. Um, really excited about the things going on with uh, r and &R Gaming, which me and Retromageddon started. Definitely, definitely check out his channel here on YouTube and check out r and &R Gaming. I will be putting the links in the description below. Um, also, uh, Facebook, Twitter, I have them. I'm on social media. Check them out. Add me on there. Um, always be checking back for news and updates on the future of the channel. We are in talks with another YouTuber to bring on to r, &R Gaming. So, um, if you guys haven't already checked it out, the Mega Man discussion is up on um, r, &R Gaming. Uh, I'll put that link in the description below. And next discussion, we're talking about our favorite system of all time, console, you know, um, and the state of console gaming. So, for me, Rontro here, a.k.a. Brohan Solo, one half of the Retro Bros, I will see you next time here on the Summer of Retro, where we will pick up with 
Mario 3 World 2. See you later. Happy gaming. Game on.